Yo, welcome Fronies for the first patch rundown for the global servers. We are having update 1.3. It is hitting today and it's actually the first major changes that is worth mentioning. This format with all the patch analysis will be done for every update. From now on, it will have a regular spot on the channel. So the first major change is that character deletion is now set to 24 hours. Many people were having issues not knowing that there is deletion time in total overall. But since in Korea it's common that like people that share account data try to delete each other's character, um, this is a measure that they have taken to prevent that. Then now the free server transfer period is over. So if you transfer now, you're locked for 30 days and you also don't get the free server transfers anymore. They now cost Lucent. The big change that um, I was hoping for is actually there that the dynamic event rewards have been improved. So it's actually more worth it. And after that patch, once we can go live on stream, we will actually do an analysis of all the new rewards of the events. And I will release a tier list for all the dynamic events so you know which event has the most value to farm depending on what your goal is. Then we have various things guild related that are not that important. Um, what is important is that um, you cannot get queued anymore into random arena matches that are done and then your points would be deducted for example if the team lost that's a good change i think that has taken many frustrations also important that there is now only one kind of ink that you can basically use for every kind of litter instead of multiple then when we're taking a look here at the dungeons i find it interesting they've now made a matchmaking cube that will give you like a random dungeon i have no idea why they're actually doing this because the game is designed around a pity system that will let you collect the tokens of the dungeons specifically to then craft valuable items so for example maybe one little trick here at the moment you can get the shadow harvester cloths out of one of those boxes for example and on my server the littles were still selling for like 2.5k lucent so if you are free to play you can just go and farm that turn it into a little and make a buck right there. I don't see any reason why you should be doing a random matchmaking. What they also did, maybe they have realized that many people are struggling and frustrating because they cannot complete the level 50 dungeons they have increased the health and the damage that people get that are like random troops to have a easier time clearing but i would just recommend i have all the guides for all the dungeons on this channel just watch it, it takes only like three to five minutes per dungeon you know the mechanics and once you know that the rest is easy what i find way more interesting is the um as the next two parts especially on reddit many people have been complaining that they're getting kicked out um, for not having enough dps or something like this by the lead just before the boss even though they spent the time in the dungeon and that is now finally resolved once you start in the boss you cannot be kicked anymore which I think is really good in terms of not getting people frustrated. Then they have adjusted the matchmaking logic and I hope this will result in queues that are going way faster for the party matchmaking so you're not always forced to be using the party board. The rest are just um, some UI changes, they are not that important. What I do want to talk about is that one thing here in the controls, fix the case where charge abilities could still fire after canceling a long button press. For me, it was like this often that annihilation barrage um, when I could not cancel it if it, if I maybe wanted to do something else that would have done more damage. Like maybe I got him low and I know my next skill is going to kill him one shot, but I'm stuck in the animation and I hope that that is now resolved and I can cancel it, allowing for more free play. And at the moment, they have disabled the ability to upload a picture to the character customization, then the AI will basically recreate that picture. I really hope that feature is coming back because we actually have a fun stream planned around that feature. So yeah, I hope it's coming back. Finish off the video with some gossip and maybe a slight fault on the Foreign Liberty team side. For a short period of time, players were able to actually go from early access servers onto the full launch servers and basically sell items that were not even unlocked by milestones on those servers and they owned large amounts of Lucent. Those players will be returned to their other servers is what they're saying, but there's no statement on how are they going to handle all the stuff that was done to their account? Like, will they reset the account back to the state or not? So I really hope um, they are actually resetting it and they are not keeping the fortune that they were 
able to make by this bug. And also one good thing is they have also sent out the first ban wave against bots. If you still have any questions about the patch, um, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. And for the rest, um, right after um, today's workday, go and analyze the dynamic events and bring the video as promised. Cheers, guys. Thank <laughs> you.